Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and I'm here to show you a quick trick and a quick tip with the uh, with the redrum unit and uh, this trick should actually save you a little bit of time. You can do this trick from Record 1 or Record 1.0.1, the uh, latest update and I assume you can do it in any, any future versions of uh, Record since we're coming out with uh, 1.5. So um, what I have here is I have a combinator with uh, with a redrum kit, it's got uh, a few different synths that are going through the redrum unit, and um, it kind of sounds like this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, um, let's copy this pattern to the track, and then let's open up our sequencer, and you can see here we have an eight-bar pattern. You might not be able to see the whole thing. There, we've got an eight bar pattern and it goes into one lane. Well, what you can do with record is if you open up your tools window and uh, you're on the tools tab, if you look at the bottom here, you'll see this extract notes to lanes feature. If it's not open, just open it there and select the explode feature. And if you click move, what's gonna happen is um, all of the notes on this lane are gonna get separated into their own individual lanes. If you click duplicate, all of these notes are going to stay on this one lane and they're going to create an additional group of lanes um, with, with the individual drum sounds. So just simply click move and you'll see what happens is um, all of the drum channels are on their own lanes. All of the drum sounds are on their own lane here. Uh, and what you can do after that, you can delete this lane one. Let's just close the tool window. You can delete lane one because you won't need that and uh, let's go back into our rack let's turn off the pattern turn off the enable pattern section and then let's go back to our sequencer and let's uh, loop this and then let's start it and as you can see they're all in their own lanes so it sure beats having to select all the notes and group them and copy them to different lanes so that's one trick you can do the other nice thing about this is that um, you can open up your regroove editor here and I've got a few different groove patterns already set up so what you can do is you can take each channel and you can actually just assign different um, regroove patches to those different channels and then once you have that done Once you have that done, you can actually um, change the groove patterns. You can um, change it in real time. You can change the slide feature in here. Actually, we're just using A3 and A4 as a pattern. So you can shuffle it and change the way that the beat works. You can apply just a little bit of groove or a lot of groove. And you can really kind of just change it up as you see fit. So that's just a quick tip, quick trick, and uh, um, something that might be uh, beneficial for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you come back to visit me at reason101.net. Thanks a lot.